Hi everybody, Nancy here. Today I'm going to show you how to produce lots, how to quickly produce lots of buttons and our brads, whatever you want to call them, um, that look similar to the ones below. I'm not going to show you exactly how I did it, these exactly, but I'm going to do a different set. Um, and uh, these particular ones were not that fast because I made them a, lot, a while back and they were, <laughs> I had to make them, almost had to make them one at a time. Now, I, I didn't actually make them one at a time because I came up with a template that would produce more, but that took a long time. And, um, but Ed has made this so simple. We can now make tons, multiple masked images. He's updated it so that it's not just one at a time. Now we can do multiples. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Can I just say one more time? Because I haven't said it enough. I love Zoom notes. Okay. <laughs> I love Zoom notes. Ed, I love Zoom notes. I love you. Thank you so very much. Anyway, all right. Let me go ahead and show you this. Okay. First, I'm going to go ahead and start with, from scratch, I'm going to create a color palette. I bought a new journal today, and I want to make some brads to go with that new journal. So this is the three color palette that came with the journal right there. So to create the color palette, I'm going to click on the black swatch at the bottom and open it up with the right arrow and go to palettes, and then I'm going to hold down on the little center square of the of the color thing where it, when you get the little plus you know you've got it and drag and drop it onto now i'm gonna you know what just to make this easier because i know whenever you create a color palette it puts it right where you drop it so i'm gonna put it closer to the bottom so i can find it later when i need it so i just drag and drop it there and see, now it's at the very bottom of the list. Okay, so now I've got my color uh, palette. I want to create a table. And I, I want to, I know that I want to make seven brads. So I created a table that was seven columns wide in just one row. That's all I need. Um, so I just, I, Obviously, I've done this already one time, and, and I had already picked my palette, so it's already there. So I just draw my little table, and there it is on the screen. And you can see all I would need to do, I'm looking for my, I was looking for my selection tool. I've changed my layout several times, and I can't find things now. But anyway, so I've created this table. It has blended my three colors into seven. That's why I love it. I love, you really only need two or three colors to get a beautiful blend. So um, while it, I mean, you can tell by the number of palettes that I've got. I love palettes, but I really only use the two or three color ones. You know, <laughs> I've got some that, well, some I created using the um, colors from the different brand name, Poly, uh, let's see, um, the popular color pencil, Prismacolor pencils and Copic colors. I've got uh, palettes using the color charts from those. So that's why I have a bunch. But anyway. That has zero to do with what we're doing here. So um, so I've created the table with seven things. Now, I'm going to mask, and you can't use a table. See, if I click on the selection menu up at the top, you can tell this is a table. It's got table properties up at the top. But I can't use a table to mask, so I have to create an image from it. So if I copy it, just do copy, and then paste as image. So now I've created a, an image of the table. And see, you can look at, if you look at this one up at the top, it says table properties. But if I click on the bottom one, 
that goes away and it just says one item selected. Okay, so I know that this is a picture and I'm gonna take that off the screen so I don't use it. All right, so now here's my copy of the table. Now my bread. I, I got this bread for free from pixelscrapper.com. Let me take you there so you can see it. I've been there before. I've shown you this guy, this before. But you can download five images a day for free. But I believe that if you want to use it for commercial use, whatever you download, I think you have to pay for the commercial. I mean, you have to pay for the subscription. I believe that will get you the commercial license. I can't swear to it. You'd need to check into that. But... Um, I think that's true. So so just know that up front. If you want to sell these or include them as part of a package, then you're, you're going to need to get the commercial use license. All right. If I go back to Zoom Notes now, now I've got my little bread or button, whatever you want to call it, and I select it. I select it and I scroll down to the bottom. You can see that it's 0.61 by 0.61. I just needed to get the size of it so that I'd know what size I needed to make my um, polygon. The, all, this, all this is is a polygon. See, if you scroll to the top, it's the shape properties, polygon shape, same thing. Okay, um, and see, it is 60. Oh, now, this one was 61. Six one. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. I don't want it to be as big because um, there's a gold rim, and I just don't want to have to worry about overhang. So I'm gonna make it like point fifty six by point fifty six. That should be plenty, right? Okay, return. Okay, so it's a little bit smaller than the bread. Now, let me get rid of these two things. Delete those. I can do this to both of these at the same time. I want to make seven versions of both of these. I'm going to need seven red tops and seven circles to cut out the mask. So I select both of these. And I'm going to duplicate. I think duplicate must be kind of new. I think I need a cookie for that because I don't remember duplicate being there all the time. Now, if you watch, you can't tell when there's multiples of the black circle. But if you watch the, the gold circle, the brad, it gets darker every time I add another layer to it. So duplicate will just make a perfect copy and pile it on top all right so if i do duplicate one see how it got a little darker two three four five six okay now it's only got selected the last one that i made so if i select it and move it over here i just want to get my distances set up and move this to here. All right. Now, I'm not going to do the bread and the the bread yet. I'm just going to do this. Those two things. Now, the left side, there's six versions of the circle or the polygon and only one over on the right. But if I go down to the bottom of the selection menu and I go to uh, the align horizontal down at the bottom and turn on make sure you've got space evenly turned on and then when you click on center it perfectly sorts them out separates them out and you just have to drag them up to the top so simple now i'm just going to move i'm going to move that what is selected up to the top just so you can see up to the front because when i changed it a little bit ago Okay, now all of them are on the top. Um, all right, now I'm going to select the tape, the color, and I'm just going to do mask image. Ta-da! <laughs> I've just created my colors. 
all right now and I just they were all selected together and I just drug it down now they're individuals Let's see well maybe they're not maybe um, okay selecting as a group so it must have created a single thing even though it looks like all right so we'll say that's a rule so if that's true it creates one image that's just separated out then you'll need to uh, do a crop and save to get the individual pieces okay now let's do the same thing with the brads select both ends of it go down at the bottom do center and space evenly click on that now that's so that's done it's created bam <laughs> and i just need to move it to the top um move to top move to front all right so there there are my seven brads that will perfectly match my new journal all right now i don't know if you paid attention but the first page had some striped buttons and that was so simple to create we'll just let's let's do that again let me show you how i did that um well sorry let me move this grab it and move it down and i'm going to so now that's my table that i created and if i want to make it striped now all I need to do is create a new table and make it have no fill, turn the fill off, and uh, I was looking to see if I had one already created down at the bottom. I don't think I do, so I'm going to do, uh, I don't know, let's say 25, 25 columns. Still only need one row. And I need to make the border and the lines. See, right now the pen thickness is uh, zero. So I'm going to change that to, I don't know, 0.2. I have no idea. That's why I don't like, I don't like having to enter a number because I don't know how big I want it. See, uh, I, that's too many. So I need to go back to... Oh, no wonder it went to 257 instead of what I thought it was, 25 in return. And I'm, uh, let me make it thicker and make it, a, I'll, I'll add a few more. Let's do 50. What I'm trying to produce is the stripes return and make it now a little bit thinner. I'm making the stripes a little bit thinner just by dragging my pen over the top. And uh, where'd my table go? Oh, I replaced it, uh, big dummy. All right, I've got to do another one. So if I draw this one, see if that's the defaulted one and I just draw it, there it is. Now I put that to the back, it's selected. Move to back. See, now I've got stripes on top of my colors. And I can do the same thing I did before. Put... I'm just looking at it real close to see if the, it's hard to tell. It's hard to see <laughs> with, with the stripes. It messes with my eyes. Well, some of them will be good. They're not going to all be perfect because um, this, well, I'll just make that table. Yeah, there. Okay. Now that affected the size, but that's okay. Now I'm going to, once again, I need to move the two tables sorry I shouldn't have moved the circles yet because I still have to make that a picture remember an image 
right now there's still two tables so I need to copy and do paste as image now I can do it Move to front. Whew. <laughs> that messes with your eyes. Let me make that smaller. Just so the, 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 the lines will be thinner. Alright, I'm just going to go with that. Now I'm going to do mask again. Mask image. And see now I've got striped circles. Perfect. And if I wanted those to be white instead of black, I would just fill the white, the black lines with white. Or I could do the table again. Let me, see, but see, it's an image. So, um, let's see. Take that and go here and change the water to instead of black, make it solid go to a different palette so that I have the white select white and there you have a white and we could do the same whole process again oops did not mean to do that I'm trying to select it and and now I copy paste again copy and paste as image And I'm not, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and stretch it out. Since I'm not making the actual buttons anyway, it doesn't matter that they're too big. And uh, I'm not going to move those to the front. I'm just going to, wait, I need to move this out of the way, though. See, that was another thing that Ed changed before you had to have the image down at the bottom. But let's see if I, I selected the image and do mask image and see there you have it <laughs> the image can be on top now and and um there they are and just put your brad button on top of those and you've got stripes now to match the solids so cool nothing to it all right i i that's that's all i'm not gonna say anymore y'all have a good day here bye